Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 4th through June 10th, the first week of June. Generally my readings are love readings, we will see what comes up. We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it flips over while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. If it doesn't, well, you'll have to wait. So it looks like you are going to have to wait to have it revealed. On the other readings, I'd put the card over here, but I just lit my candle, so that's not going to work. Capricorn. First week of June. Oh, well, I flipped out. You got lucky. You got lucky. Playfulness. To, re to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. That's a good message, isn't it? Capricorn, first week of June, first full week, June 4th through the 10th. If you'd like to book a reading, the information is down below. Generally, my readings are love readings. Whatever comes up, comes up. You can apply it to job, whatever. If it doesn't resonate, it wasn't meant for you. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Somebody's made a clear decision to release that go. I have made the decision to stop investing, stop fighting for this, I'm letting go. I have made the decision. Decision's been made. No longer going to fight for this. I have no fight left. I am hey you're making progress, aren't you? You have a lot of self-respect. I see victory and success here. You have made a decision and it does lead to victory. A lot of confidence, Capricorn. Whew, a lot of confidence. You're very confident, you're courageous, you're strong, and it shows. Or you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I think this is probably you taking on this energy, this very strong-willed, powerful, passionate, Oh, there you are. There you are. But you're not following your intuition in some area of your life. The high priestess reversed. So you may, somebody, you, you could be dealing with someone who has a hidden agenda and you know it. Or they did. Keep in mind that the timing on these readings are fluid. This could have happened, could be happening now, or could be happening in the near future. Somebody is totally giving up, not putting any more effort. They're like not working together. I'm not even, I don't even want to work on this. Lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness, lack of appreciation. You could be dealing with somebody who has some secrets. You know they have some secrets and those secrets are about to come out. So, yeah. Hmm. There could be some manipulation here. Ooh. You could be dealing with a fire sign or an air sign. So, we have fire and air. So, air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But we have some love as well, the Ace of Cups. This is a new opportunity for love, a raw opportunity. It could be just the very beginning, or this could just be a really happy time in your life. This could even be self-love. You could be really being assertive with showing the world who you are, assertive and confident. It looks like you're you're being open to the possibilities. You're changing some things too. You're making some changes. Interesting. Wow. Okay, so we have we have some some pretty strong energies here. Big time. Okay, there's a lot of uh structure, organization and control. 
th keeping things in control. You may be feeling very controlled this week, or you may be being, I am in control, you know, you may be um, demanding, demanding things be controlled. You know what I mean? You may, I am keeping things, I'm in charge. We're going to do it this way. I'm in control. And some, you could have another person that doesn't put in effort. Okay, they're not putting in the work. They're not, they don't appreciate what you have to offer. They don't appreciate you. They don't appreciate your standards. You know what I mean? This is interesting. I am going to zoom this in. So Capricorn, I think you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an earth sign. I'm, I'm betting. I mean, there's so many people, so it could be any sign, but the, you know, there's pow probably some power struggles here about who's in control. Okay. There could be some, uh, Lack of appreciation from this other person who doesn't want to see things your way. But I feel like you're pretty uh, set in your ways this week. It's like, no, I, I suggest you see it from my perspective because I'm the boss. <laughs> Interesting. I, uh, yeah. You're, it's like you're demanding respect from this person, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that sometimes. Sometimes you have to demand it if somebody doesn't give it, Right? I think you guys have made the clear decision to take the lead in a situation to keep things under control, okay? You're trying to keep things controlled and structured, you know, and you've been dealing with somebody that perhaps has some hidden agendas, okay? That that high priestess is is secrets and hidden agendas in reverse and you could this this shit could be coming out, you know, you might be like, "Whoa." That might be quite a shock. Um, but I see that you are being very decisive and you're standing your ground. You're standing your ground with this person. Whatever's happening, somebody hasn't been working as hard as you. And it feels like that is going to come up this week. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like, what the hell? Is all this mine? Is all the, Do I have to do all the work? Or when are you going to put in work? When are you going to put in effort? Yeah, it's about compromising and blending and coming together. So I think for many of you, you know, there's been some sort of arguments with another person that hasn't been giving their fair share. Maybe they haven't been paying enough attention or they've been, you know, just not there, you know. And it seems like now you're trying to, you're trying to, Equal out the playing field with this person, okay? I feel like you you are probably trying to, you have made a decision or you are about to make a decision whether to even work with this person or not. I don't even know if I want to work with you at this point if you don't want to put in the equal amount of effort. It looks like you guys are very, very strong. There's a lot of strength this week coming from you. Okay, and you guys have been patient and you've sacrificed so much already. It's like I've sacrificed. What the hell? What the hell? You know, I think you guys are coming to the, some sort of realization that I'm making all this progress on my own. When are you going to do your part? And that could be where this self-love comes. Or there could be somebody that new comes in. Because this Ace of Cups could be new love. It could also be a reconciliation. It could be any of those things. But with a lover's card reverse, it's like right next to that Queen of Wands. It's like there could be a breakup as well. There could be a breakup. There could be at the end of a contract with a person. You've made the decision that they're never going to put in the effort. They don't really, really want to work together with me. With the three of pentacles reversed, there's a lack of, of working together. There's a lack of teamwork. There's somebody in your dynamic that isn't doing their fair share. 
and it feels like you are probably about to stand up to them this week. Do I want to even stay with you if, they, if we are not going to be on the same level? You know, some, like I said, there were secrets. I think I said that a while back, but the high priestess is right here in the middle of the reading. It is reversed. There's secrets. There sure to hell is. There is definitely some sneaking around, some shady business, okay? Could be a third party situation. There could be. Now, third party situations don't always have to be sexual. This could be mother, daughter, you. You know what I mean? It, it it could be sexual. It might be friends that are involved. It could be children that are involved. Thir three's a crowd, however you look at it, okay? So I feel like there's one too many people in this picture, and it's causing problems for your relationship. And I feel like there has been some sort of deception, betrayal, lies, perhaps even cheating. With these two cards coming out together, there could have been some cheating that... Uh, you know, is revealed. And now you make the decision to, this is the last straw, you know. You you decide to end this commitment, perhaps. Perhaps, now this could have happened, or, you know, it may be happening now or in the future. Somebody may be giving up on a commitment. This is too discontent for me. This is too... Uh, unhappy there's no happiness here if we can't be in a serious commitment then I'm going to have to take the lead to keep the structure in my life because I cannot be involved with somebody who doesn't love me enough to be faithful there's a lack of love here I think maybe somebody there is I mean even though this ace of cups is here there's a lack of commitment to one person. I think there's a third party situation here. And I'm sorry to tell you that. I hate to say those words. Especially. I do. I hate to say it. I think there has been. And it's that made somebody feel like they weren't loved. Okay. Or this could even be fearing a third party commitment. I mean a third party situation. That fear of that. Anyway. It feels like this is a week of making that decision to stay or go. To regain the structure in your life. There, this, there's some sort of... There's definitely some lies and some manipulation here. Whether it's from you or another person. And there's some shady business. There is definitely some shady business going on. And... Somebody is has been trying to cover it up. But they have also... Uh, been slowly fading away they've been fading away from from you okay whether it's you or them somebody has been slowly fading out of this relationship and it's probably you it's probably you it's like this is over it's over this is the, the this could be the death of an idea. It's time to, for me to go through this period of recuperation. And here you are in reverse. You may feel like, you know, I am just going to focus on my job right now. I'm going to focus on my work and my finances. I don't need to be with somebody who doesn't respect me, who doesn't love me, and who is a liar and a cheater, okay? Because that's what this is. I feel like you have been manipulated, even though they could point the finger at you, because that's what they do, right? Somebody will point the finger at you, Capricorn, and say that it was you doing it, when in fact I think it was the other person I do. And so for all you cross-watchers that are going to comment below how much it was the other person, it was the Capricorn, don't bother because I will delete the comment and block you. I don't allow comments about another sign in my comment section. You keep that shit out of there. Um, just saying, okay. I, from what I can see, Somebody has been lying. Somebody has been and cheating. Deceptive. And the truth, there's secrets, there's hidden agendas here. Some, the truth is about to be revealed at some point here soon. Or it has been. And the other person is going to want to point the finger and turn it around at you. Then that's truly what I see or those words not have come out of my mouth. Okay? And the fact of the matter is they've been fading or you've been fading. Somebody has been fading out of this relationship for a while. It's like this... You've reached a dead end a while back, but you wanted to you wanted to work it out and you put in effort to make it work and now you've made the decision to regain structure and control in your life after this reveal. 
it feels like now I, I can't keep sacrificing myself long enough. I've evolved into a much stronger person. I feel like you're, you are very, very strong this week. You're very decisive. You're very much in control. And I think that you're demanding respect. And you may just feel like, you know what, I don't even want to deal with you. I'm going to work on everything but this, but love at this time because I don't have time for drama. So, yeah, it looks like you guys are probably working on yourselves. That's what it looks like to me. You may feel like you're, you know, you maybe feel like right now you, you can't love. You just want to be on your own. You're, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to be on my own. I might want to be playful with someone. Maybe I want sex, but I'm not looking for love. To recap your romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for deep love or no love at all. Right, Capricorn? I feel like this is a week of not wanting to deal with false love. Interesting. So yeah, I feel like this is this is what it is. I don't feel like there's any new love coming in. I think it's a week of self-love. Demanding respect from others after some sort of arguments or upheaval in a relationship that has caused you to probably retreat. You're just not wanting it. I'm not wanting it right now. Sex might be good, but... I'm not open to hardcore trusting you right now. <laughs> anyway, that's what I have. Talk to you later.